Good official morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I don't have the boys this morning. They are being, most likely, being dropped off to school by their father. I'm pretty sure they're probably almost there. I know definitely Silas is already at school by an, by this time. But anyway, good official morning. I started my morning off. Um, I actually woke up at 7 o'clock this morning and I have to be at work at 9 o'clock, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I've just kind of slowly been getting ready. But I'm just going to come out here and just say it because you guys probably already noticed it, but I kind of made a crazy decision and I chopped my hair off. Chopped it off two days ago. Yeah. So my bathroom is a complete disaster right now. There is stuff everywhere because I was experimenting. I was doing this and that with my hair. Um, I got a lot of layers put into it uh and i continue not to dye it because honestly i don't have anything like fun and exciting coming up right now it's just like kai soccer and stuff like that's going on so i um i was like you know what we'll save the black hair dye and all that craziness damage to my hair for like a weekend that i actually have an event which actually next weekend i do think i have something fun coming up so um and of course i plan my weekends around when i don't have the kids and when i do have them i'm just like mm, forget my hair dye you know anyway so this is my drastic change to my hair it's um definitely a lot harder to style my hair than i thought it would be i was like oh short hair it's gonna take no time to style it but i'm just like okay okay so <laughs> i'm strug i struggled a little bit i woke up a little bit excited to be able to style it and um the day that I got it cut, I actually didn't do anything to it. I left it in a bun. That's my news for today, hence the title of this video. Welcome to today's vlog. I am almost ready to go out the door. Actually, let me show you guys my outfit because look at that's what I meant by my bathroom. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, anyway, this is my outfit. So I have a pair of these are just Lululemon. I guess they're running shoes, and then some linen. Not linen. I get, I don't know what material this is. You see. Maybe you guys can get a better feel of it by seeing this texture here. But anyway, I have this on. And then on top of that, just a regular t-shirt. This is actually the one that I took family pictures in with the boys. And I'm so comfortable. I'm going to throw on some earrings. I clearly need a watch. I feel so naked without a watch on. Um, and then I'm going to clean up my bedroom a little bit, which I've been trying to do that as like a habit. And then pack my couple snacks for the morning and then head out the door. For work so anyway welcome to today's vlog welcome to Rosalind almost being 40 and going through these changes I guess I don't know what made me do it but I did I did decide to do this necklace let's see if I can even put it on <laughs> there's a mirror here I'm trying to see where that little loop-de-loop -loop thing is you guys are all up in my lips Ugh. there it is here we go put a necklace on I was gonna put on earrings oops that didn't work I was gonna put on earrings but I was like mm, let's try a necklace for today because typically I won't do a necklace oh my goodness I got my nails done a couple days ago and um, they are a, oh take seven they're a little bit longer than I would like them to be I was just kind of like in what was, oh, you know what? I had driven over to Lakewood to go see my dad, um, visit my dad at the cemetery. It's so weird when I say that, visit my dad. You guys know my dad passed away. <sighs> it's October of last, two, three years ago. This year is gonna be three years in October of my dad's passing. So I went to go pay my dad a visit. And then after that, it was on Monday, I went to go get my nails done. And I was in my feelers. It just made me feel some type of way. So I was just sitting there getting my nails done and the lady was talking to me and she asked me about the length and stuff like that. And I was just like, yep, mm -hmm, yeah. I wasn't in it, you guys. So um, I guess long story short, that's why my nails are this long, which is something I'm not used to. I was gonna throw on earrings. I think I, no, I think I'm good. I'm just going to work. I don't have a long day today. So anyway, I think I'm officially ready. That's what the hair is going to do today. Um, but yay for the necklace. I really need to organize my bedroom, you guys. I bought this shelf if you guys followed me on Instagram, which if you guys don't, you really should. I bought this like Garmin rack um, slash organizer. I need to go to Walmart to get deodorant. 
one of the other things for the house. Anyway, I bought a garment rack organizer. I am going to put on earrings because they're right here. And I haven't really, the only thing we did, if you guys followed me on Instagram, is Jonah and I put it together. Um, I haven't really thrown stuff on there yet. I have taken stuff out of my closet and piled it on the floor of things that I want to put up there. But I also want to buy baskets for it and I just can't necessarily find baskets that I like am in love with so I feel like I'm kind of stuck my perfume of I guess body messed up choice today is this is called very sexy this is one of my go-to's for um scents to find the little hole otherwise I'm going to be spraying like that way when my body's obviously here I always spray my hair I just peeked into the boys room and y'all, why is their room a lot more organized than my room? Like their room looks, I did buy them organization stuff. I think I was talking about that in one of the vlogs. This is just for safety reasons in case my hair goes south today. Anyway, their room looks amazing compared to mine. What time is it? It's eight. Oh, gotta go. I do have some fruits here that my mother gave me that I plan on eating at work. I thought I'd be able to prepare it and cut it and take it to work already prepared, but that was not in the plan today. So, uh, my AC is set at 78 degrees. I think I'm gonna leave it, but it's 76 degrees in here. So technically it's not even on. Anyway, um, ooh, I have very important paperwork that I need to review and it's dark in the house. This is what it looks like in here right before I leave you guys because I've got blackout curtains in here that um, really help with like the temperature. So when I come back home from anywhere, it's like super, super dark in here. And I'll be honest with you guys, I absolutely love it. I just want to tell y'all that I just walked by a gentleman that was walking into the apartment complex that I live in as I was walking to my vehicle and he said, you smell mighty lovely this morning, lady. I was like, well, thank you. I love the fact that he didn't call me ma'am. I think approaching 40, I'm just like, I'm frozen in denial over here. All right, here's an episode of how long it takes Rosen to get in the vehicle. So one, two, three things have been put down. I always forget if I put my purse on last or if I put on my, ah, jeez, if I put my backpack on last. I think this is the, yeah, whatever I put on last has to go out oh, first. All right, we're good. I got this. We're going to work. We are full on workforce today. Um, I don't know why, but somebody from my work parked this car here. I'm kind of glad I saw it. It's blocking the sidewalk. So if, like somebody that has disabilities tries to drive by or i guess not drive by as in their wheelchair they won't have access to the sidewalk so i'm gonna move this for them oh y'all i am so knee deep in all of this paperwork and everything for getting my house sold and everything finalized that it's kind of pathetic like you guys know I'm being represented by an attorney and it's really expensive. And then on top of that, I'm trying to figure out child support and I'm trying to figure out alimony. And I'm also trying to figure out the sell of the house because it's like, it's so complicated because if you guys don't know, I live in California and the housing market is crazy. Like the amount of money that we bought our house for is not the amount that the house is selling for right now. So, which is a good thing for somebody that's trying to sell the house. Um, but it's also a bad thing for somebody trying to purchase a house. So long story short, if I sell my house now, then I'll get more for the house. So, I mean, the obvious is that I want the house sold now versus later on, God knows what's gonna happen to the market, right? So, trying to get things figured out with the court. Oh my gosh. Not not necessarily the court, but really trying to get everything sorted out to get the other party to come and meet and go and do this and that is just... Oh my gosh, y'all. It's so difficult and so hard. Like, so, for example, like at this current moment, I'm trying to schedule a three-way. So, basically, a three-way would be a meet with 
me the other party so the respondent the petitioner and then my attorney and getting that process started because it can't just be like hey person you're supposed to come here at this time you're supposed to like serve them paperwork you're supposed to mail them letters certify and then email also which is the forms of communication the other person has chosen and if any of the dots aren't crossed I guess the if any of the I's aren't dots if any of the T's aren't crossed oh my gosh y'all I'm not even functioning right now um then what happens is the whole thing pretty much gets rescheduled and trust me I know that for a fact because that's already happened so yeah I it's just I guess at the end of the day I'm grateful that the job that I have allows me to be able to like stay on hold and talk to like whoever I need to talk to to be able to get things going so right now at 11:35, I'm expecting a phone call um and I gotta go over a few things, but keep in mind, like, I'm working still, you know? And then if I'm not working, I'm technically not getting paid, so I have to deduct my hours, which means I'm losing pay, and I'm just, I know I work for my brother, and I can get away with, like, a little bit of murder, but at the same time, it's like, I don't like, I, I just, do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? It's just, it's difficult, y'all. Okay, so, update on all of that. I just learned like 20 minutes ago if you're being represented so if you have a lawyer and if you also have applied for child support you're technically being represented so child support services won't talk to you they'll only communicate with your lawyer however there's a form that your lawyer can fill out and give to whoever like it doesn't necessarily have to be child support services it can be anybody that's saying that this person's not being represented by me for this specific reason so what my lawyer is gonna do is well i i don't know i'm kind of in limbo and i told him i was gonna call him back and let him know what i decided to do with that but basically my lawyer is waiting to hear back from me now to see if i want Want them to represent me or not because my lawyer told me how much he charges when he represents me per hour which would be for this date this hearing that's already set and I'm like ouch and then second of all he's telling me that this is already a given right like um, basically the amount that I'm allowed to get for child support for the amount of children I have is based off of my income and then the other party's income and then it gets put into this calculator and that's based off of us both residing in California and having children in California and being married in California so that's already calculated without like what am I trying to say it, it's already a given if that makes any sense so it doesn't matter if the other party agrees to paying child support or not it's just already calculated. So my attorney or lawyer or whatever is saying that um, it doesn't make any sense for me to be represented by him, but I feel a lot calmer having him, but him going with me is gonna cost me money. So I'm like, let, let me think about this and then I'm gonna get back to him. Um, so basically it's just a piece of paper they have to send over. So I don't know, I'm gonna give it some thought while I'm working. <laughs> and kind of go from there but in case you guys didn't know now you know all right well good luck can, let us know what happens can we just talk about why it's 100 degrees still in modesto in september i know i already talked to y'all about that a little bit ago but oh geez all right i am off of work why did i just turn down i thought i turned my music down but nothing happened Anyway, I'm off of work. I'm off 10 minutes early because I was off a little bit later yesterday and I just want my hours to even out. Um, I took it upon myself to assume that there is nothing I can do as far as productivity goes in 10 minutes, so I'm off. Um, really quickly, want to connect about my hair. Um, I don't know about it, but here it is. Um, I feel like, I don't know, it's different everybody that's seen it so far likes it but I don't know if they're just being kind to me or not I am having a very difficult time styling it or doing anything to it so I will say I do like how fast I can put it up in a messy bun so that's really nice um, and then in other news the top of my lip you guys look Ugh. I don't know what's going on with that but I will tell you this much I don't like it I tried to perform surgery on it 
yesterday. Last night is when it started. I tried to perform surgery on it and I was not successful. And then this morning, I tried to become a surgeon on it again and I wasn't successful, so I left it. It hurt so bad, like I tried to like pinch it, I guess, with like finger from this side and that side and it made my eyes water. So I said, not today, maybe tomorrow and left it alone, so that's that. I'm gonna go get my tiny humans from school. I start off with getting Silas first. I hang out in my neighbor's front yard and talk with her for a little bit and then I go get the other kid. I guess both of them today. And then I think we're gonna go home and finish like organizing the room and stuff. So I'll either see you guys when I get Silas or back at the apartment. I have a mama with me today. <laughs> I picked him up, I was chatting with my neighbor next door for a little bit, and then um, usually what I'll do is I'll wait for one of the twins to call me, and then I'll leave to go pick them up because we're like two minutes away from there, and then that way the traffic clears up a little bit, and then we'll go, so I'm gonna go get the twins. Hi, Jonah! Oh. Do you realize it's a hundred degrees? Outside. And do you have a sweater on? He's crazy. We have a Malachi. Is that water cold still? No? That sucks. You guys, this is ridiculous. Like, I was telling you guys earlier what I have. Anyway, so now I have a very important duty, which I will talk about. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, knock me in my noggin. I'll probably talk about in our next vlog, but I gotta get these children home. And guess what you guys have to do today? Laundry. You guys have two baskets of laundry because the all three of you collectively put together. Silas is like silently saying yay. You ain't gonna be saying yay in a little bit. They forgot to tell me how much laundry they have. And y'all, I spent so long washing and drying their clothes, it was pathetic. So you all have fun putting it away. And when you're putting it away, think of how long it took me to wash and dry it. Not at the leisure of my own residence, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner today. I'm thinking pizza, and if we do pizza, Bubba, what kind? White sauce. It has to be white sauce. So I think maybe round table. Does that sound good? Yeah. Or we can go to the grocery store and get something for you guys to eat. Say Mar. Say Mar. I'm not very comfortable in the shirt that I'm wearing, you guys. Like I showed you guys earlier today, it feels like it's really tight on me. So I'm gonna run in the house and I'm gonna change and then kind of go from there. But this vlog is now ending. I have all three of my babies. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with them and then we'll talk about what my appointment that I'm going into right now is for. Most likely in 